Howdy y'all, got the bold off on the channel. Doing some test driving today. This truck here has got, well, it's got all the lights on on the dash. Uh, it's got uh, vibration and a shake and noises. Uh, it's got problems. Uh, that's that's a shorter way to put it. But what he's worried about is the lights on the dash, which kind of know what them are. He got into something and ripped all the ABS wires on the left front. So there's that. Yeah, you can see I got my hand on the steering wheel and holding my phone at the same time. Not doing it there. Uh, it has a very loud rattle slash vibration, high speed uh, vibration. Uh, and he did it, he said it did it the worst going up a hill under light throttle. And and it's intermittent, it doesn't do it all the time. He said that it re really noticed it when he was pulling a planter up the uh, hill into town from the south. That's a little bit specific, but you know, the area that I live in, uh, that's, uh, I know exactly what that means. You know, fairly steep hill and a load on the thing under light throttle. So he did get it to do it. I, I got in and drove with him, and that's something I've said before. You kind of need to be with the customer on some of this stuff, especially one of these where uh, they say, I've got a rattle, and you say, Which one? Because you know this thing's got two hundred thousand on it, uh, and it's aged. Uh, I figured this would be a good thing to drive around today. I'm just driving all the way to town. I had something I needed to go to get anyway, and I thought, well, we'll just we'll just drive that thing clear to town, and then when he we can experience the exact same hill that he noticed it the most on. Although I'm not pulling a planner. But I I have an idea of what it is. I already pulled the drive line out and checked the U joints because that's something that can make that same kind of vibration that I felt when I was riding in this thing. And uh, I didn't find any bad carrier bearing. I didn't find any bad U joints. It's got three of them for the rear shaft. Now, I did not check the front shaft. It's, you know, CV. It could be it or not. But right now, nope, it does. Uh, right now, I'm leaning more towards a loose catalytic converter, which is pretty rare that they do stuff like that. Not unheard of. I have had this happen multiple times where a loose brick in a catalytic converter will, under certain throttle loads, resonate and just vibrate. I mean, uh, you feel it through the whole car. So I've got to recreate this noise enough that I can localize where it's coming from. Now, when I was in it before, I was in the passenger seat and I could feel it in my feet. He thought that I was, you know, getting antsy or something. I said, no, I'm, I'm putting my feet flat on the floor so that I can feel it. And he got to do it a couple more times, but it didn't do it more than a couple seconds. It's really hard to localize something whenever you can't get it to do it pretty repetitively so 
we're going to drive this around a little bit. Figured I'd pop on here and, you know, uh, let you know what I was doing today as far as cars go. I've got a lot of stuff to do as far as the house goes. Oh, turn signal doesn't work. That's nice. Uh, I will, I've got to put an AC unit in because my ink, there's a bearing out of the fan motor of my new AC unit, you know, new, meaning it's like 10 or 12 years old, and I bought another one to go in there. It's a bigger unit, 10,000 BTU versus 8,000, but it's bigger, so I have to cut the hole out a little bigger. By the way, my house has no windows. Uh, what I do is a deal that my dad devised my house is underground. It's got one end poking out, and we take out the front door and put up a piece of plywood. There's a hole cut in it, exact same size as the the old air conditioner that we used to use. It fit in there perfectly. So I uh, this other unit's a little smaller. It had no problem. This, uh, this unit I just got was just a little bigger. So I'm going to have to cut the hole out a little bigger. But that's nice, you know. I was going to put central air in the house, but that's $3,000 or $4,000. And uh, that was before Dad died. He, uh, I discussed it with him, and he says, what do you want to do that for? Well, so I don't have to worry about wor work with this AC unit, having to put it in. He says, yeah, but when the unit goes bad, you just go get another one. Yeah, he was a little bit better about, you know, planning ahead than I was, and I've had to get get to be that way. Boy, that that makes everybody mad now. Now I know why I was upset all the time because when you're thinking ten steps ahead and other people are thinking two steps ahead, uh, you get to be the enemy because you always see a problem with everything. Yeah. Like, comment, subscribe, hit your little bell notification, share it around. We'll talk to you later.